this is Lee back once again for another video and just kind of my wrap up of the Shimmer Weekend 96 through 99 at the Berwyn Eagles Club on November 11th through 12th exhausting weekend but I feel like I'm a little more seasoned as a amateur reporter independent journalistic person fan whatever um, I definitely think the um, the food uh, was good. I didn't go to Paisan's Pizza afterwards. There was no official after party, no fan fest. Um, there was no uh, video packages, no uh, video screen. Um, the um, the building temperature was pretty good, pretty decent. Uh, they got rid of the aisle, you know, center aisles. It was all just rows of chairs. So it was a little harder to get around. They did open up the. Um, the uh, barricades so that you could stand around the ring. You didn't get to go in the ring. That would have been cool, but I guess, you know, a little bit of a liability there. Um, so they had, um, it was a little bit easier to get some autographs from some wrestlers. And, you know, meeting Aja Kong, um, really cool. Um, you know, she has her cool face paint and she has her, she, she, she looks so small in person. You know, um, certainly she dwarfs most of her opponents, but she just looks like a normal person. You know, kind of just like a sweet old lady, except for the face paint and the, you know, buzz cut. But what a legend, you know, and gracious to fans. Um, of course, they got the translator, you know. Um, I don't know her English skills very good, but um, there was a moment, I think I was just um, in between uh, shows, um, you know, for the start, the final uh, show, I was just kind of walking. You know, I was kind of getting some um, snacks, I think, and I... I, I just looked up and I saw Aja Kong standing there in her street clothes. It's like, oh, hello. Kind of awkward, you know, hello. And um, and then it's, I saw, oh, she's getting out of this van, like a like a shuttle service. And I think um, Hiroya Matsumoto was there too. And they were just, they were going into the, um, you know, 7-Eleven type shop to get the whatever. So I just, oh, that's kind of fun. Well, anyway, um, but yeah, but when they when they enter the ring, they become the character, they become the legend, the larger than life superhero, super villainous, you know that they are. So um, it was cool, it's neat. You know, there's certainly a language barrier, but um, just to meet, you know, someone that you've seen so much, you know, on videos, um, and then finally performing in the ring, and then oh, and there they are. You get to meet them, yay! Um, and a lot of the wrestlers, you know, I, I could get autographs, I only got a few, um, but the ones I did, you know, I, I enjoyed, you know, I just wanted to thank them. Zoe Lucas, um, hope she does well, hope she comes back. Sad to see Mercedes Martinez apparently, presumably, uh, leaving, maybe retired. Um, Tessa Blanchard leaving for, uh, probably, uh, Impact Wrestling, uh, sooner or later. Um... You know, the Japanese wrestlers, you may not see them again because, you know, they go back home and they may or may not be back for the next one. Usually they get three or four um, wrestlers from Japan to come to Shima. You know, there was some of the old magic had come back. I've said this before. This weekend, I think, was better than the last weekend I saw. It just felt like some of the old magic was back. I mean, the referees were, um, except for Andy Long, all the referees were different. You had, um, well, the same announcer that you've had for a few times, but not Joey Eastman. Um, you saw Dave Prezik in the background, but I didn't see Amber Gertner. I didn't see Portia Perez. So some things were missing, certainly. You know, people have moved on. But um, getting the Joshi wrestlers and then getting the fans of the Joshi wrestlers, throwing the streamers, the funny artwork, the guys with the big hats, you know, all that was kind of made me nostalgic for my first show because that's what I remember, you know, people holding up signs, you know, that was just missing before, and the Smarks not being able to take over the whole show and just ruin it um, you know, there were a few people that yelled stupid things, but they kind of got shouted down by other people, um, which at first was like, oh, well, this, is there going to be a fight? but no, there wasn't you know, the, the evening's enjoyment was marred a little bit by the two injuries you know, we had the first, on Saturday we had Kikyo Nakamura with some kind of injured wrist, I think, or maybe ribs, but probably wrist. And then on Sunday was the, um, you know, head injury, a bloodied um, 
Allison K cutting her match uh, prematurely short against Shaza McKenzie. So yeah, was, those were unfortunate, but um, and you know the hotel wasn't as cool as it was before. Um, the food was definitely good at the Mexican uh, restaurant across the street. Keeps you going. Uh, fans were of course enthusiastic, and they weren't as dead as they had been in some some times past. I, I wasn't fighting with cameramen in my face which was nice, so my choice of seating was, was decent. I did bring a little bit of ear protection because, you know, people screaming in my ear for seven hours uh, does tend to make one go a little deaf in one ear. Uh, so I didn't have to worry about that. Um, good merchandise. Got picked up some digital versatile discs. Got uh, Lou Fisto and uh, Roy Matsumoto. Didn't see any more Joshi for Hope. I, I guess they've stopped making those. It's kind of too bad. I don't know if the... Uh, uh, ch charity folded, which would be unfortunate because you know it was for a good cause. I assume they did good work, even though you know their their videos. You know I I'll probably review the digital versus this kind of lackluster because you know the matches were heavily edited. They cut out a lot of the entrances and it's really dark and it seems like they're hardly in the arena at all. But you know it's it's for charity. Uh, they're stars that I care about and there's you know humor as well as fighting. I think the, the biggest criticism of those Joshi for Hope matches is the referee just seemed to kind of like be like, no, that's, it's not really three. And it's just like, I don't know. They just didn't, didn't really do much to hide the fact that, hey, it's a fake wrestling match. But, uh, you know, it's Joshi. So it's, it's not, it's not unwatchable. It's, uh, it's always pretty decent. It's usually better than what's on TV. Um, but uh, I'll be excited to see, uh, you know, Lufisto's uh, Best of Volume, I think it was 12, and um, Hiroya Matsumoto's Retirement, not really, uh, match, uh, Night, which, you know, several other matches, and um, Hikaru Shida is in there too, and actually Iwo Kazuki is in there, and I forgot to get her to sign the, uh, you know, autograph the box. But um, I think the meet and greet was all right. It was a little crowded. I think FanFest really did it the best. Uh, really giving you a chance to talk to the wrestlers. Really giving you a chance to see all the merchandise that people had to offer. And, you know, chat with the fans about who your favorite is. And kind of talk to the wrestlers a little more than just, Oh, hello, good job. Can I have your autograph? Okay, bye. Next person, please. You know, um... Which is kind of how it is now, but you know they they try to alleviate that with um, putting people around the ring. So I would say um, you know the um, the announcer made a little um, you know he definitely promoted the heck out of Rise, this Shimmer Wrestling School. You know they did the pre matches and everything, and several of the stars appeared on the show, the main show. Um, somebody said like, well you know what? Uh, somebody tell Dave Prezak your secret. Because they had the Rise Blu-rays out in like two days. Um, almost as fast as Chikara, you know, they had their Joshi Mania stuff out like the same day. And of course, you know, what do you expect? You know, you're going to have like a printed label on a burned disc as opposed to a professionally pressed, you know, silk screened and all that nice stuff for your um, home viewing pleasure. But um, chances are it'll be a year before you'll see these on digital virtual disc or maybe on-demand streaming, um, I suppose. Um, but so really, there's a big jump. You know, volume 80 and 81 were for pre-order, not for actual uh, purchase uh, at the show. So volume 79, and there's a big jump. And then volume um, 80 and 91, I believe, are the iPay-Per-View streaming. I've watch my other reviews um, you can watch those but there's a huge gap uh, in between these different shows so I'm glad they're back at the Eagles Club I'm glad they do what they do Shimmer you know um, if I was ever a cynical jaded fan if I was ever burned out on wrestling I think you've got me back you know I don't have the time the energy or the funding to you know do that kind of weekend thing every time but you know it was kind of a labor of love. It was kind of fun just to go out, just to see the show, just to see the enjoyment of the fans, just to see the wrestlers doing what they do, what they love to do, and uh, just enjoy. So I think that'll come out when you see the digital virtual discs, finally. You'll see the, you know, the, the uh, love, 
that they put into their work uh, and you'll enjoy some good matches even if you have no idea who these people are you've only heard the names or you know it's like Courtney Rush isn't she Rosemary or you know who the heck you know this didn't I see that person on you know the WWE Network with the Mae Young Classic or weren't they in a NXT episode or who the heck you know you'll 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 get to see finally what they can really do and not just a three minute match um, so anyway and I didn't get to see Rise I wasn't there on Friday that was its own, own show but apparently they said they tore the house down and Aja Kong was there and Hiroya Matsumoto was there so who knows maybe I will have to pick up Rise if it's cheap you know, because I definitely um, blew a lot of cash uh, making all of this happen so I appreciate you sticking with me and, and listening I may have left out some details here and there you know there's a few matches I don't remember very well you know, it has some time has passed and even even the night of you know it was a little fuzzy on it just because there had been so much so much had happened so many memorable matches kind of some of those early um, shorter matches kind of fade into the background and I wasn't taking pictures of every single thing that happened so if somebody else you know wants to put up a play-by-play -play or something on some other side I'm sure they've already done so and you'll get to see uh, eventually what it was like and you know if any of these other people come back and they make it big you can say, oh, look, look how far they've come. But I really didn't see any bad matches. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Um, and, you know, if you're uh, a stateside, a little late, but happy Thanksgiving, you know, um, and all that, uh, be safe. And uh, I'll catch you uh, next time. Hopefully, you know, I have some other videos I want to make. I'm just not sure when I'll have the time to do them, but I'll do my best. So until then, goodbye.